did. So here's how the conversation went down. Oh, it's getting so chilly. Good thing I have my new sweater. Yeah? Me too. Mm-hmm. Me three. Hmm. Well, maybe it's time to read, oh, I don't know, a winter book. <laughs> oh, look, I have to look no further. It's me. I did it. <laughs> now you have to read it. Oh, look at your face. It's cold. It's icy. Perfect. So if you don't know, you need to know two things. One, what Jaffa sent is the worst. So sometimes she likes to hijack kid time story time by bringing over one of the worst books in the whole entire world and somehow they just keep coming. And number two, these books always feature this rock with no name, but with a bit of shall we say, an attitude? So, bundle up, <laughs> we're going in. Oh, this book, unfortunately, belongs to you and me and the witch time family. No, 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 cut that, no, no, no. You are not taking over our special song. Let's do it correctly this time. This book, unfortunately, belongs to you and me and the kid time family. That's how you do it. The worst winter book in the whole entire world. This book is dedicated to toboggans for being a funny word that means two very different things. Now I'm going to confess, I was today years old when I discovered that a toboggan was not only this thing, but also this thing, that little beanie hat in certain parts of the world is called a toboggan. Ooh, fine print. You should probably read that. No, I don't read fine print. It's super boring. I don't know. It looks pretty important. You wouldn't want to get into trouble, would you? Okay, fine. I'll read the fine print. All chilling and winterized illustrations and words frozen by Joey Acker. All rights reserved, blah, blah, blah. That means don't copy anything from this book. It could very well cause a snowmageddon. Snowmageddon? Oh, that sounds terribly terrible. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. I, I don't know what that means. Maybe I should just wear something warmer. All right, just, just in case, because everything already looks very icy here. Hooray, hooray, it's winter today, but there is something I must say. Okay, I've gotta say that it's actually getting off to a pretty good start because the rock is actually smiling. That's not normal. This is the worst winter book in the whole entire world. Uh, there he is. Do you wanna know why this book is the worst? Oh, I don't know, rock with no name, why? Seriously? Yes, yeah, seriously. I'm actually quite curious to know how much worse these books can get. Fine, then turn the page. Reason number one, this is not a Christmas book. You may have thought it was, but guess what? It is not. This is just a boring, non-magical, uneventful, void of holiday cheer book. Well, so far so bad. Who wants to read a book about winter anyways? Oh no, rock, it's not anyways. Uh, That's not a word. I know you've heard it, but it's not a word. It's any way. Let's rewind that and do it again. <laughs> Who wants to read a book about winter anyway? I do. Reason number two, Jerry Pumpkins is in this book, and I have no idea why. I do! Hey, do you wanna build a snowman? Okay, so if you haven't seen the worst Halloween book in the whole entire world, Jerry Pumpkins hails from the Halloween book. I don't know why he's here, though. 
No, Jerry. I'm trying to tell the reader why this is the worst winter book in the whole entire world and why they should close it and go read something else. Too bad! I'm building a snowman! Reason number three. I have a feeling that I'm not getting rid of Jerry Pumpkins until he builds a snowman. No, Jerry Pumpkins is a persistent pumpkin. Let's go! It's finished. Wow, wow. A lot can happen between two pages. Tell me about it. Where did you get that hat and scarf? It's winter book magic! Kaboom! He's alive! Whoa, did we just have some sort of a Frankenstein electrification moment where our snowman has come to life? It is winter magic. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's the coolest! What is your name? Jimothy. I'm sorry, what? Jimothy. Well, I'm flummoxed. What? Perplexed. Yeah, what? Bewildered. What was that? Utterly confused. Oh, why didn't you just say so? Jimothy. Jimothy? Jimothy the snowman? What kind of a name is Jimothy for a snowman? That's, that's, that's what I was thinking. Well, what kind of a name is Jerry for a pumpkin? That's a good point also. And reason number four. Why is there even a pumpkin in a book about winter? Good point. I think I'm in the wrong book. Bye. I guess we'll see you back at Halloween, Jerry Pumpkins. Reason number five. I am so confused right now and have no idea what's going on in this super weird book. How do I always get stuck in these terrible books? Speaking of terrible, I am here to give you a warning. A warning? Of course you are. Go ahead and lay reason number six on me. Beware of the snow mangoes. Snow mango? What are snow mangoes? Snow mangoes are one of the worst beasts in the whole entire world. They are loud, smelly birds with big yucky tongues, and if they lick you, you'll become frozen in ice. Ah, oh, yes. Good times, good times. If you ever see one, run far, far away, and whatever you do, do not look into their eyes. They're snowy spirits. Spooky stare will slow you down so they can catch you. What is that awful noise? Honk, honk! The snow mangoes are coming! Bye! Wait, 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 wait. is J Jimothy? I can't believe I can say that name. Is Jimothy literally melting on purpose right now? Reason number seven. Snow mangoes are coming and Jimothy melted away. A self-melting snowman? That is staggering. What? Appalling. What was that? Confounding. Uh, what are you saying? It's shocking. Oh. Oh, no. I don't know what to do now, but at least I know I shouldn't look a snow mango in the eye. Honk, honk. <gasps> But what if the snow mango looks you in the eye first? Dun, dun, dun! Ah! They really do stink, and my legs are moving slower. Oh, look, it's a plot hole. Thank you, Joey Acker. I can't see anything here. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. I wonder where this goes. Wonder no more because you're in Winter Wonderland. And it's Jerry Pumpkins. And it's J J Jimothy the Snowman. And and there's a Yeti. And, and there's the nameless rock coming out of a hole in the ground and and that's the end and seriously this entire story has just left me thunderstruck a gape beef
befuddled? All of the above. And surprised. So, kid, this winter, please, be careful and beware of snowmageddon and snow mingos and weird plot holes and certain witches who are the best at being the worst. Ice bat puccinos coming right up. Ew.